Hey, good morning, y'all. I'm Lori with Arkansas Yarn Company. And I'm Lindsay with Always Yarn First. Today we are doing the April Stock Yarn Society unboxing. So super excited. Um, in Arkansas, the the theme of this one is uh, reflective of Arkansas. And so um, we're super excited about it. You yeah. ready? Yeah. Okay, Lindsay just pulled everything out of the bag. Yeah. So this time, it's called Totality Worth It. It is a play on the eclipse that's happening in Arkansas. So this won't happen again, I think, until like... Oh, girl. I, don't know. I think someone said 2045. So it's a big deal in the state of Arkansas, and I wanted all of you to feel like you're part of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, totality. I mean, like, how cool is this? Also, I want to, so this color is so gorgeous, and it looks way more yellow on this screen than it actually is. It has a maybe this is better it's more it's more this color mm -hmm. see how it looks really bright up here yeah. it's not that bright it's not as bright so it kind of reminded me when i came in this morning and i saw it it kind of reminded me of like maize like uh, yeah it's it's so good it's, it's so, so good. pretty mm -hmm. i love it and then i also want to tell you about this skein of this mini skein it's actually a gradient so it. i'm gonna can we open yeah. yours yeah so it actually is a gradient so it gets dark to light because you know we think of everything so it's um it turned out beautiful yeah i did I you love can that. see it better like this it's getting dark to light yeah mm -hmm. same thing that happens in the eclipse it gets light to dark dark to light mm -hmm. so you and know we have to we have to be so, if you do live in Arkansas and you haven't had your your eclipse glasses yet, you're getting a set. Or if you live in any of the other states that the eclipse is hitting. Exactly. So, exactly. those are good. So, I had to think about all the things. Wow. This is dark tea. It is. Well, it's a black tea for blackout. And um, I'm super excited about this one. Yeah. This one is really cool because it has a black it's black tea with elderberries orange peel and orange essence so kind of again a play on the sun and the colors so you're getting a sun Love it. and that's looking a little more peachy than it actually is in yeah, it it's very light yeah i love it and I'm kind of loving that these have been in all the boxes, not saying that they're going to be in all the boxes because I don't know, but I've been loving collecting these. These are so adorable. So we had to give you a pair of sunglasses mm -hmm. for um, the Eclipse. So again, it's just another layer of uh, making the box cohesive. Mm -hmm. And these are cute because they'll stand on the end for yeah. your for your when you have them on your needle toppers mm -hmm. they're needle toppers mm -hmm. and so yes that's the sock yarn society for this and don't month. wear your sunglasses when you're looking at the eclipse y'all i know you've heard it before but don't wear sunglasses when looking up at the sun yeah you you have to look at the sun with these or you'll damage your eyes so um although i didn't know this this week uh, my daughter and i went with some friends to the planetarium and we um we sorry i don't know what that was i don't know what um, that was either but we saw a thing about the eclipse i did not know that when it is totally eclipsed it's okay to, you take off your glasses and you look directly at the sun oh good to know i did not know that but it has to you have to wait till it is completely covered over and it's totally eclipsed because then you can see the solar flares around uh-huh um, oh, but cool. only when it's completely covered do you take your glasses off. Well, thank you for that lovely information. I know. I didn't. I'm like, yes. is that common knowledge? Because I that was the first time I remember hearing that. I didn't. I didn't know that either. Mm -mm. I'm that's like, that's really cool because you wouldn't have seen the solar flares if you have these on. Yes. Also, you can take these and you can cut them and you can put them over your camera and you can record. You can record. Oh. 
And uh, that way, when you're looking at it through here, it's also not damaging your eyes. Oh, I read that on the website we ordered well, these Well, look from. at us giving some solar eclipse tips. Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> that's what we're uh, really here for. Well, and you know, <laughs> if you live in the area, come over and knit with us. We're going to be knitting in totality uh, that yeah. day, April 8th, mm -hmm. out on our patio. Yeah. And hopefully we'll have some uh, Prosecco or some Champagne. Um, some kind of a punch, some mm -hmm. water water bottles, some lemonade. So, yeah, we would love to have you join us. Yep. Anyway, um, thank you so much for joining us for the April Sock Yarn Society mm -hmm. unboxing. And I'm not entirely certain, but I think that uh, there are a few spots, and it is on open right now. So if you're watching this and you are not a Sock Yarn Society subscriber, but you've been wanting to be, yeah, I think that it's open right now. So um, you can go in there. I think there's yeah. maybe two spots open. So if you want to hop over and do that, you're welcome to wow. do that. Excellent. Yes. Definitely. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Y'all have a really great day. We'll see you next month. Bye, y'all. Bye.